Hi guys, Squall here. Welcome back to uh, my Rail Routes mini-series. Uh, if you've watched the first two episodes, you know exactly what's going on. If not, I suggest you go and watch them, otherwise you won't have a clue what's going on, <laughs> quite frankly. This is a, a signalling, dispatching, track-building programme, uh, essentially, and this is how far we've got so far. We've got a little network going on. We've got a train here, just to remind you, that's due to go through Bridgeton at 13.54, so that's coming up. We'll have to let him through fairly soon. We've got a couple of trains up here, which uh, this one's seven minutes away from departure. This one's a good 30 minutes away. And we've got some stuff on the track. We're building up our money, building up our points. You can see we're still very short on uh, red experience points. Um, I'm thinking about what we're going to do next. And what I want to point out to you is you're not compelled to build off of your existing track. Like, we don't have to connect into this. We can go and build a separate track. Now, what you decide to do next is going to be very different, probably, to what I would decide to do next, and that's the beauty of this game. There is no one way of doing anything. But what I'm thinking I would like to do is, given that we've got quite a nice full um, schedule, that's the right word. Hang on, where's he going, Bridgeton Ward? Click. Why are you not clicking? Uh, oh, there we go, Bridgeton One. Not sure what's going on there. Um, while we've got a nice full schedule going and it's running quite nicely and it's not too arduous to keep on top of, let's not interrupt it by smashing more um, con contracts into this area. Let's go and build something else is what I'm thinking. Cumbernaut 3, so you can go here and here. <clears throat> we'll keep our eye on him. Uh, so looking around the map, now you are restricted on what you can buy. For example, you can't buy anything in this area. And the reason is because you have to own things nearby. Um, if you want to buy something in Motherwell, we'd have to build this first, uh, buy this at Newton first, and then we can get to Motherwell. So that's one option. I don't quite like that U-turn, though. Glasgow is very appealing just because the sheer number of platforms. Uh, I'm automatically thinking, blimey, we can get a lot of freights, you know, docked into that. So that's appealing. Um, but then we'd have to bring it into our network. So maybe another option is to go a bit more west. And you know, we can't get to Ashfield yet. Oh, one thing I haven't pointed out is these dotted lines here. Uh, this is like an off-map thing, so trains will come in from here, and when you need to despawn trains, you can either send them out through one of these um, platforms here, or you can send them into a coach yard. We'll see more of that in a later video, where we do uh, what's called one-way um, trips. Bridgeton 1, let's get you down to here. Why can't I click you? Okay, I think this is... No, nope, there we go. Bridge to one. Thought it had bugged on me then. Uh, platform three, so you can go here. So what I'm thinking is, looking over here, I quite like Queen Street as well. Queen Street's got quite a few platforms, and it is viable. However, we can't link to very much because we need to get these auto blocks, and we don't have auto blocks unlocked. Uh, if you remember, auto blocks are... They're kind of strange the concept. They're a bit of a tunnel stroke time warp. They're kind of like a TARDIS. Uh, every tile you see uh, is one kilometer long, but every tile you see is actually 10 times that value. Uh, and then it says here, the number of segments equipped is the number of trains that you can come in. So in this one, because it, it's got two segments, it can actually hold two trains at once, uh, as long as they're going in the same direction, of course. So we're going to unlock that. We'll upgrade that one. It's our first upgrade in a while. And that will allow us now to um, purchase these things here if we want to. But we can't buy it yet because we need to get a neighbouring station first. Let me just focus my attentions back here. Uh, 1400, this train is now late, so I've not been keeping my eye on that. Uh, let's let him go. 1354, he should have gone. Too busy waffling. Uh, he is ready to go through Easter House Any. So I think we can let him go as well. However, he wants to come in. Where's he going? Bridgeton 1. So he wants to come down here. We don't want to hold this guy up. We'll let the, um, the commuter train come through first. Bridgeton 1. We kind of need him to move. There we go. Okay, so he's on his way. We will get rid of this guy. We'll stick him onto that parking area temporarily. Bridgeton 1, he's going to have to wait to go to here. Here we go. 
It's like a little mini dance, isn't it? Coming on three. So we put him here, like that. And he wants to go to Bridgeton 1 as well, so he will have to wait until he's gone through. Meanwhile, we should be able to route this guy on his way as soon as he's gone through there. Blimey, it suddenly got very busy. There we go. Right. So let's do that. 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 And he can just be on his way. It says 1447, but well, we'll just send him through now. Okay, he's gone. He's on his way. He's now ready to go. Blimey. He wants to go to Bridgeton 1, so we have to route him down there as well. Uh, this one wants to go to Bridgeton 1, so we'll flick that switch. Send him through. Let's get him out of there. It suddenly got very busy, didn't it? There we go. Okay, it's calmed down now, so he's 12 minutes away. Uh, so he's going to go to Cumbernault 3, so we need to wait a second. Back to Bridgeton 3, something like that. Um, and we'll let it do its thing. So let's go and buy some stuff. I'm thinking I would like to get to Ashfield because that will give us trains coming in and out and that will allow us to do one way into cities. So to get that, we'd have to get Queen Street. Uh, we could then just do a direct route to Queen Street, or maybe we can try and get through to Glasgow Central, or we can go northbound. We've got options if we go here. I'm thinking to start off with, let's buy... How many got? One, two, three. Let's buy Platform 3. There we go. So Platform 3 unlocks this, which is $8,000, which is insanely expensive, but these things are 4000 a tile. Um, so we could unlock one for now, potentially, and then maybe buy another one later, or we can get both all at once but let's just grab one and see how we get on i've gone for a middle platform here uh just because i want to try to keep things uh you know on the south to either come south later or maybe as freight platforms either or so we'll do um let's think we'll do those two yeah we'll get those two we'll leave it as one there and then let's get a oops don't think we can buy this yet increase max station limit okay so we need to get the control thing that allows us to build more track which is this one here so we need to spend five points to increase our station count to seven uh, that will allow us to then unlock platform here and maybe here uh, so we've got a run there now and we could even go through to Glasgow if we want to but I think that's enough just for now let's just make sure chaos is not brewing over here um and then we'll build some tracks so we will go direct there obviously and then how do we want to do this we're going to come in probably like that i would imagine we can always rejig this later so that will give us options there we go that will allow that should allow new contracts to be generated that's what we're after. New contracts to be generated that will um, put things there and there so we can route things. Let's make sure we haven't got a full contract list, which we have. Let me come over here. We are spinning plates a little bit at this point. Into city train. We don't have that city yet. Cumbernault, Bridgeton to Cumbernault. Freight train. We have got a free platform up here. Bridgeton to Cumbernault. Bridgeton, Bridgeton to Cumbernault. We could bring that in. That is a train that terminates at Cumbernault. We can go and park it on platform one. Uh, looking at Bridgeton, we can drop that train in right now onto platform one. So let's do that. Uh, he's looking to go through. He's fine. He will leave in eight minutes. That will free up that platform. So we'll bring him to there. And then we'll send him up to Cumbernault one and park him. And that should work out quite nicely. Bridgeton one. There we go. That's him in place. So while that's going on there, we need to wait for contracts to spawn now. Uh, Bridgeton, coming on to Bridgeton. The more we can get rid of, the better. Easter House is here. Cumbernault and back down to Bridgeton, 4,000. 
We do need red tokens. Um, this one is waiting for 40 minutes at Cumbernaut. That's a long wait, that is. It's a long wait for 7,000. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that just because of the length of time. And we'll get rid of this and just see if we can get some more contracts coming in. Okay, so they're all parked up. He's going to be going out to uh, Easter House so we can set him up ready. He'll be leaving in a few minutes. This guy's going straight through to Easter House. So he's probably going to conflict with this guy. One of them's going to have to wait, we're afraid. Cumbernaut 4. Okay, so he can just wait now. So he's gone straight through. He can be on his way. Oops, wrong platform. No, wrong platform. Oh, misclicked. Well, I can't change that now because that's now locked out. We'll get a penalty because he should have gone into coming out four and he's gone into coming out three. Uh, let's have a look if this new contract has given us any uh, joy. Doesn't look that way. Commuter train. Nope, not for a thousand, buddy. Yeah, 6,000 plus a red thing. Did you see that? So we've now got an extra red token, which is fantastic news. So he wants to go to Common Lot 3, and he's now parked in there, so this is doubly bad. We need him to get out of here. So now we're going to start thinking about what we're going to buy next. Now, I'd really like to get some automation going. We really want to be down with this stuff, but to get all of these, we're going to need 15 reds, which is a lot of reds, which is why I'm trying to accumulate red. Uh, routing queue is nice to have, not worth five reds just yet, so we'll skip that one. Um, maybe we want to think about upgrading our track. Faster track means we should be able to pick up um, contracts where the train requires you to go quicker, uh, and that will give us some more money. So we can then cancel a bunch of cheap contracts and take higher speed ones. The trouble is it, it takes quite a bit of money to upgrade the track. It's 2,000 a tile, so even just upgrading a section here would cost 20,000. So it's a lot of money to, um, to throw away. So just bear that in mind. Uh, Dispatcher Deluxe, weight in reverse. We don't need those yet. Contracts, do we need more contracts? Platform adjustments will be useful for us later, but we don't need it right now. Maybe we get some uh, we get some quality of life things. So for example, this one, color-coded stations. This will color code our stations and just make it a bit easier uh, to see what's going on. It does consume a red token, but you can see now these platforms are color coded so that when we're looking at things, visually it just makes life a little bit easier to deal with so we'll take that for now i'll we'll have to wait till he's out of the blocking station so penalty for him as well let's turn three and we just wait for more contracts right so the contract market is not being very nice <laughs> it's given us stuff uh from ashfield but it's uh it's not great Ashfield to Queen Street to Ashfield, so it's Ashfield, Queen Street, Ashfield, paying $1,000 and 81k speed limit, which we've only got 40k tracks, so that's not going to work. And for that much money, it's just not even worth it. Then we've got Steps to Cumbernaut to Bridgeton, which is, Steps is up here, Cumbernaut we've got a pre-platform a pre for the freight train, and Bridgeton we can do. So parking a train here is not a problem, but it does require us to build track here. We have probably enough money to make it work so we could do that pays 5,000 on a red experience token so maybe we do it uh ashfield cumbernaut and then ashfield so it wants to go from ashfield here to cumbernaut and then back to ashfield that's a bit of a pain um so we're not going to be doing that one but maybe we take this and it's an excuse to build some more track and uh you know it's it's going to future proof us with more contracts so that would require us to buy this here um, because it's a freight train, let's just grab that there. And then we'll build a simple connection. Let's assume this is the main line, but we'll avoid it for now. Um, let's come down to... Um, different ways we could do this, but let's just go straight in for now. And then we'll go up there like that, and we'll connect those two. So we're now connected. I've not put any more signals on it for now. 
just a straight through kind of track. So what we'll do is we'll accept that contract from steps, so accept it in, bring it onto steps one. It's the only platform we have. And we'll just clear it straight through into Cumbernaut. So we'll basically park that there until it's ready to go. And we'll hope that the contract market actually deals with some nicer cards shortly. Okay, a few minutes later, we've got some more interesting contracts coming through. Let me just grab that to there. Uh, so if we have a look, we have Ashfield to Queen Street to Ashfield, which is Ashfield to Queen Street to Ashfield. 6,000, one green, so it's good money. It's a commuter train, so it's regular, but the target speed is 78. Hmm. That's not a long run, though, and it's only one train, and it's a regular train. So I'm thinking it might be worth spending money upgrading so that we can build 80k track and then upgrade that section there and shuttle a train here. It's only once an hour, but it's almost guaranteed six grand, isn't it? Every hour, which can't be bad. So I think we'll take that in a second. Next thing we've got is Ashfield to Cumbernaut to Steps. That's Ashfield here to Cumbernaut to Steps. That's not going to happen, so we'll decline that. A freight train from Bridgeton to Cumbernaut to Steps. Possibly doable, but it needs to be parked on Cumbernaut for a while. And that's not going to happen for at least half an hour, so we'll get rid of that. Same thing here, parts and cumber not, not going to happen. And then finally, we have that really rubbish Ashfield Queen Street nonsense for a thousand here. We could take it if we're upgrading the track anyway. It's better than nothing, but it's only a thousand, but it is a green experience token. But we'll need to replace that contract as soon as we can. So let me quickly jump back over here, just spin some plates a second. So Bridgeton 3. And you're going into Cumbernaut 3, so let's put you there. They're a while away, so let's get, go to controls, basic track. We'll get that. That will now upgrade the track speed. And if we now go to here, we've now got two things we can do. If you want to build 40k track, use this tile here. If you want to build 80k track, use this tile here. If you want to change the speed of existing track, use this here, uh, which is what we need to do. So we will... You can see 2,400 because it is, what, what it does is it calculates the difference between these two. So that's 1,200 to upgrade per tile. So if I do this one, it's two tiles in length of so 2,400. So we'll upgrade those. We'll upgrade those and we'll upgrade that tunnel. That's two tiles, but because they're an auto tile, they're much, much more expensive to upgrade because it is effectively multiple tiles in one. So that's a big expense. And then over with the platform to make sure we keep the speed up. That's the whole thing. This bit here is obviously slower. We can afford to grab that and that for now. The platforms will have to wait. Uh, but let's get the high speed one done first, which is this one here. So we'll accept that into Ashfield platform two. And as soon as this gets on its way, we'll accept the other one because if, it's, if one's behind the other, they can be going through the tunnel more or less together, if that makes sense. Uh, let's make sure chaos is not happening over here. Clear him out. Where's he going? Oh, he's staying here. My bad. He's going to Bridgeton 1. Okay, so we'll... Oh, he should have cleared him before I did that. He's now probably running late, which is not going to help the initial contact. That was a big mistake. I got distracted over there. So we'll get him down the track a little bit, and then we will have a look for the next one. There's a couple, actually. Look at this. So we'll bring him in for platform two as well. Clear him to the initial section. He wants to go to any platform. The fast platform is platform four, so we'll send him in there. Just double check on this. Now, this is where you're going to start to feel the need for some automation or at least some UI help. Uh, and there are some options we can get on in that regard. Now he wants to leave in a minute's time and he's not even left. So that got through the tunnel a lot, lot quicker than I was anticipating, which could be an issue um, because now we're gonna have to hold him up and we'll probably have to lose this contract. I don't wanna hold this guy up because he pays a lot of money. Uh, so that was a mistake on my part. So we'll do that to Easter House 1. So he's going straight through. He's a freight train. And instead, we'll clear this guy. 
uh, and he'll have to go out on platform three. Yeah, he he got through there a lot quicker than I was expecting. So this this contract here, um, we don't think we can terminate it, can we? Yeah, let's get rid of it. That is not gonna work. Did we get a replacement? Ashfield, Cumbernault, Bridgeton, Freight Train. Can't do that yet. Bridgeton, Queen Street to Steps. Can't do that. We could take this, take this one as a replacement now. He's there. So we'll accept him back in. And we'll clear him through instead. And we'll send him in, perhaps, to the slow platform. So, yeah, a little bit of spinning plates going on here. Now, if we look in the interface section, there is some stuff we can get to highlight and help us a little bit. Uh, the smart sort, which is going to sort these things for us by stuff that needs most attention. So we'll get that. So down here on the um, overview now, we can smart sort. And it will keep things in order of attention, if you like. Things that we need to focus on next. That's going to help us manage things, what's going on. We've also got... Um, an alert highlight, trains that need attention for three. Get that. And a train, where's the brake one? Brake notifications for five as well. So we'll get an audible sound now when a train is stopping or stopped. Uh, just so we can be alerted to the fact something needs our attention. So those things should help us to manage these two aspects to our network. Okay, contract conditions. We did it slower than expected. 3,600. We've got two options here. We either reject it because we know we can do better or we take it anyway and just take 3,600 every hour. We have to do five trains. That's five hours worth of work. So we'll take it anyway and see how we get on. There's one here that we can get that shows you the next stations. Do you remember? I think it was under interface. Next station display, that one. So we'll grab that. And that now shows us a better breakdown of what's going on. So we can see from here now what this train wants to do. So they are quality of life um, upgrades right there. Coming on three, clear you back there. Bridgeton three, clear you back there. So the next train that needs our attention is this one. So we will clear him back through. And then we may as well clear him out on the outbound platform so we can keep two as an inbound platform for now. Just do it that way. So this, this is helping us here because I know that if I see this list, I know which order I need to... If I see Ashfield at the top of this list, I know I've got to look over here for something. Which will um, definitely help us. Right, new contracts, what have we got? We have Bridgeton to come on to Steps. Um, Bridgeton, come on Steps, can't do that yet. Ashfield, Cumbernaut, Ashfield, no, we're not linked up for that. Ashfield, Great Queen Street, yes, we can do this. Uh, this is a good one, so another six grand one, and we've got the schedule for it. If we look at Ashfield, we can definitely fit this in. We'll let him get out first, though. Then we've got an intercity from Steps to Queen Street, which we don't have. Bridgeton to Cumbernaut to Ashfield. That's a big payer, that one. Look at that. It's a shame we're not linked over to Ashfield yet. Glasgow we don't have. So we'll wait for him to get out the way like that, and then we'll just accept this onto platform two. We'll make sure he's cleared onto that fast platform. So that should be that for now. And now we just need to build our money and our XP back up so that we can... Um, get back into a, a place where we can get some more upgrades. Red tokens is what we're looking for, though. So we need to get these freight trains out of here. Okay, that's a little bit better on that one. 73% uh, brought our speed. So we're getting 800. We'll take it. It's a pretty good pretty good payout, considering it's only a 1,000 limit. Can't do that yet. Okay, I'll play this for a bit and get us some more money and see if we can pick up some better contracts.
So, things are going okay. We've got some more money back. Uh, this train here, which wanted to pass at Easter House of 1645, is nearly ready to go. I've been holding it here for a while. This one, 1717. So, it's just camping the platform. I don't understand why it has to go past Easter House. It's been sat there half an hour already, I swear. Anyway, going over here, we've still got a train running. We have got some more contracts come in, some of which are interesting. Um, the... There's a freight train from Easter House to Cumbernaut, which we could grab when that one goes. That would be a 3,000 payout, but it's not in the platform too long, 20 minutes. So it's a quick red token. Or we could take one of these two, which both of them come from Bridgeton, go to Cumbernaut, and then go back out to Bridgeton. You know, pay out a bit more, but look how long they sit around for. So this one's 40 minutes, and then has to pass 15 minutes after it finishes there. This one... Uh, it takes about 40 minutes and then has to pass pass about 8 minutes after. So, probably say no to this one. Keep that one in the bag and we'll probably take that one. So, we'll send this one on its way uh, just to get it through at 1645. It should be ready to go through shortly. Uh, it's going to go back to Bridgeton 3, so we'll do that. Uh, so, timing this thing, I don't know, let's go about now-ish, something like that. That will get it on its way and we'll immediately bring the new one in. There you go. So complete 1300 plus the token, which is uh, which is nice. And then while that one is out of action, we will do this. We'll accept this one in now quickly. I will send him straight into his platform. Keep our eye out over here for a second. Nothing going on over there. And then in the contract list, there's a steps, Queen Street steps one. Um, which we can't take yet because we don't have a link from Steps to the Steps Queen Street Ashfield. We don't have a link from Ashfield to Steps yet. Also notice the target speed, 125. No way, Jose. Don't get caught out by that. Bridgeton, Cumbernaut to Bridgeton. Can't really stack any more. So we're just waiting for more contracts here for now until so we've got enough money to make some more links. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, he's going to Cumbernaut 3. And then the other thing to watch out for is this guy, 1717. We need to get him out of there on time, if possible. There we go. So again, we're still quite manually intensive at the moment. So we really want to get some more automation going. Uh, but to do that, we need to get sensors unlocked. And we need, well, we need at least 10 red to get that. And we're only getting red from these freight services at the moment. Uh, we might have to look at other ways of getting these red tokens. Ashfield, Queen Street, Ashfield. That sounds like something we can do. 2,000, but hey, it's better than having nothing on the platform. Notice there's a train coming on platform two at some point, but not yet. So we'll just... Ashfield, uh, yeah, that one. So we'll bring that in on platform two. We'll green light him all the way in. And... That's an 80 train, I think. So we'll bring him into the... Get him on the fast track. Um, steps to Queen Street, steps, we can't do that yet. Bridgeton, Cumbernaut, Bridgeton, we could do later, potentially. Did you hear that noise? That's the sound of a train that's stopping or just stopped. That little audible alert. So if you hear that, just quickly look down here and see what's going on. Get him through. 1717, he needs to leave, so we just need to be careful of that. So one of these is going to get held up. There you go. He's going to have to wait for him. Meanwhile, back over here. He wants to go out on Ashfield Any, so we'll send him out on three because he's a trial train. And yeah, just a bit more grind. It's um, it's going to pick up soon, as soon as we get some automation going, but not yet. Let's have a look at the contracts. Ashfield, no. Ashfield, Great Quincy Steps, no. Um, 
train levels coloring we don't need train focus that we don't need just yet this is where we want to be 20 green and 5 red route queuing auto signals allow commands to queue this is a useful thing to have um, and we needed to get sensors anyway so I'm going to take this now uh, what it will let us do is we'll try and get it so that I can show you what happens here but it allows you to basically queue things up so for example we know this train wants to go into Cumbernaut 4 but I can't put that in yet because there's already something crossing its path but now we've got queuing I can click on it and you see it puts a one there and if you hover over it it says what it's going to do next so this switch when it can will switch to platform 4 and when it can means as soon as this clears this area so it's efficient as it can be because if you watch what happens as soon as that train passes the back of that X there boom it automatically goes in because you queued it to happen what that lets you do is basically in this situation here we can queue things to here and queue things to here and leave it and the, and the system will just work it out as soon as it can it's quite an efficient thing to have uh, the route queuing but it opens the door to the sensors which is why we really want it any more contracts no okay okay we're doing well for money which is great because we'll potentially start buying some more um, automatic signals so this one this trial that we did we got 65 percent of 2000 so we'll take that just to get some more money out of this line and you know we might want to start thinking about automating these signals over here we don't necessarily need them one outbound would be useful and then out of there maybe don't need this one doing because trains only ever come in this way this one they do come out of so potentially that would be useful so that helps us to queue things up on that one um Outbound of Easter House is occasionally useful, so we'll make that one there. And these we could do, but yeah, it's so seldom it's not really worth it. So if I click on three there, I've locked that line in there, and this one needs to go back to Cumbernaut 3. So I can click here and here. And I don't need to worry about it anymore. Those two didn't conflict, but if they did, it would just queue them up anyway. Now, this freight train is coming up 1717. It's going to have to pass Bridgeton, so it'll take a few minutes to get down there. So we need to set it out very, very shortly. So I would suggest we do it more or less now. We'll get it into position. So what we'll do is... Now, we can't do it on this because it's not an automatic, but then if I upgrade this to automatic... I can now queue this to go down here. And it can't make it happen yet, but as soon as it can, it will. Boom, there it goes. And same coming back with this one. So this one I can queue to go to here. It can't make it happen yet, but now it can. And then 1717, I think any, any platform. So if we look at Bridgeton, we can see something's coming onto platform one shortly, which is this train. So we may as well send it out on three. And, you know, that's that's a pretty good timing. It wants to be there at 17.17, and it looks like it's going past 40 seconds away. So another red token for us. Good times. Right, interesting thing has come up that I just want to um, highlight to you. One sec, we'll just get this train through here. Uh, this guy here, right? So this freight train has been sat here for quite a while now. Uh, 1920, 1954. So his time's almost up. However, he only wants to pass Easter House at 21.10. Now, we could just leave him here, but he's taken up an entire platform. And we don't really want that. So what we need is a siding, really. If we can just park him on a siding, we then free up this platform. We can have another freight train sit on there instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bit of track just here like that and we'll just park in there so we'll turn that like this we'll green light that signal and we'll just shove him out the way meanwhile this guy wants to come down here to Easter House oh sorry he's coming into Easter House 1 Bridgeton 1 that's right he's going to Bridgeton yeah so we'll just get him out the way and that now frees up that platform so we can go looking for another contract so we've got the contract list in Easter House 
to Cumbernaut, Easter House, 8,000. It's going to sit there for quite a while. Um, and then he's going to... If you look at the end time and here, it's only like five minutes. So that's fine. The only thing to bear in mind is when you want to get this guy out, you, you do need to be able to route him out. Like at the moment, if we park two trains here, we're not going to be able to get him out of those. So we'll probably need some other way of doing it, which may involve us deleting track because at the moment we can't link into this. So what you might have to do just to get him out temporarily is do something like... Let's get rid of this. It's not going to link, not link into that either, is it? So at the moment he is actually looking like... Oh, I tell you what we can do. We can just get remove that. We won't let us because he's allocated. He's on that section of track, so we can't actually get rid of him, and he won't move further down there. Um, so that's a bit of an issue, actually. If if he's parked on that bit of track and I can't get him out of here because I can't link through to this, and it won't let me delete that now, <laughs> that's a bit of a problem. Um, so we might have to reverse him. We might have to reverse him back in, like so, put him back on that platform so we can rejig this track. Uh, so that we can get him out of there. So yeah, another lesson learned there. Uh, where's he want to go? Bridgeton 1 and Cumbernaut 3. Double check over here. Right, so this is where queuing comes in really important because I can just do that and fire and forget. And he will go where he needs to go. Right, so now he's off that segment. We can look at potentially doing this a different way perhaps. Maybe doing it like that. And then we can do that, and that, and we can put a diamond there like that, which is a better way of doing it, because now we can park him here and we can get him back off onto platform three, which we know is not always full. So when he stops, we will just reverse him. We messed him about a little bit, but we got him off off the way, because there's nowhere to do it here. Ideally, I would have had a siding here at Easter House, but there's no way because of that wall, so that's the best place. Alternative would have been to bring him down this way park him up over there or even here uh, there's space on the map for sidings you just got to look for it right, where do you want to go Ashfield 3 so put you there Ashfield 2 so what I did was um, I got a contract that basically uses both of these so if you look we've got trains in at, at Queen Street on both platforms and they'll leave on Ashfield, these those trains coming back again. And he just kind of doubles it up, right? Because we've only got a single piece of track and they both need to go through the tunnel behind each other. You can't have one coming in this way and one coming in that way. Uh, but what you can do is have one setting off and then a minute later, another setting off, which is uh, basically what we're doing here. And, uh, you know, it does mean you've got train arriving and departing on each platform, but it does maximize that segment of track a bit better. doing here? Bridgeton 1. Seems to have turned that train the wrong way. Oh, I know what's happened. Because I, I've linked that track now, he doesn't auto-reverse anymore. It's just one of those annoying things that happens. See, we'll have to manually... So anything that comes into here now, we'll have to manually flip. Or it, what it'll do is it'll go to the end of the track and then turn around. It's a slight annoyance. Once we get departure sensors, that problem should go away. But, you know, we've done it just so that we can make this work over here. So going back to the contract then, um, we want to get a train into here. So we'll bring this one into Easter House on platform one. And we'll set him up to go into there. So we'll do that. That will queue him through onto platform one when he's ready. And the money's building up, the green tokens are building up. We just need a few more red tokens, really. We need five red tokens. Now, we can exchange them. That's another thing that we can do. There we go. Not sure. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, if we go into system upgrades and then I think it's under contracts. There we go. So there is this thing where you can convert 15 green into one red. 
Uh, it sounds a lot, and it is, but you, the fact is you do earn a lot more green than red. Unfortunately, to get it, you need to unlock intercity contracts, one-time intercities, uh, which cost 10 points, and these are high-speed trains, which we can't really deal with. So that's a kind of a wasted 10 green, but then that unlocks this, that allows you to convert 15 into one red. It is an option. We're not going to take it just yet, but it is an option that you can take. The other thing you can do as well is take, is get the coach yard. Now, the coach yard is something we could do. It allows us to build a coach yard. It's about 30k, I think, to build a coach yard. And this will give us one directional contracts that unlock a red. Now, they are a little bit harder to manage than normal contracts. Um, you, you have to build a coach yard near a platform. There's so many squares away from a platform. I don't think it's going to let us build over here because this is the dead part of the map. So Bridgeton isn't really suited to a coach yard. Cumbernaut may suit a coach yard. Um, it would probably have to sit here somewhere where you bring trains in and out of it. And the way it works is you get a contract and a train will say come in through Bridgeton, uh, through Cumbernaut, and then you'll have to route it into the coach yard. They will then start to accumulate and then you'll start to pick up other contracts where you take a train out of the coach yard and put it back through the network. That will pay more money and give us a red token, but it is a bit harder to manage, so you do have to sort of watch yourself. You see how he went to the end of the platform and he had to flip him round. It is getting annoying. Right, uh, let's see, where do they want to go? Are they going outbound? Another option would be to perhaps have a coach yard down here. I think we'll we'll do that in the next episode, though. We'll get into coach yards in the next one uh, because it is a little bit more work. Right, we're getting some very interesting contracts coming through now. Um, I am saving up the money and the points here. You might think I'm just hoarding. I am a little bit because I want to get enough points to show you interesting things. Uh, why are you stuck? Let's re -queue you. Um, yeah, contract-wise. So we've got some really interesting stuff. For example, a contract that goes from Ashfield, which is here, to Queen Street and then up to Steps uh, pays nine grand. Downside of that one is 102k's uh, speed limit, so perhaps a little bit too aggressive. But strategically, it would be nice to have a platform here that went up through this tunnel bit, not a tunnel, what do they call them, auto, whatever, and goes up to the steps. This is not a very well used segment of the map, uh, but we would have to make that 80k speed limit probably to get the best out of it. Um, that's an option. Then we've got this one here, which is steps to, Great, uh, to Queen Street to steps. So if we did build that track, then we could get both of these contracts here and make them work on that same segment of track, which is definitely appealing. There's another one here, a commuter run from um, Ashfield to Glasgow Central, which is here, and then back to Ashfield. That one we don't really have the capacity for, but we do want to get to Glasgow at some point, but we will decline that for now. And then we've got a freight one that's just um, ready to go when these platforms become available. So, all very interesting stuff. Oh, and then finally, a steps to Queen Street to Steps one. So again, three contracts that we can make this work. So, before we finish today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to basically buy this platform here. We will buy this one here, and we're going to make some track, hopefully 80k track. We'll probably need to change the speed of that just to make it quick, and that to make it quick. Uh, we'll try to reuse as much of this as we can for now. Uh, there's no sense in not doing so. I don't want to upgrade all of this track, though. So what we'll do is we'll come out of here. Uh, if that goes that way, like that, then this one will be here. Like that. Say, and then we only have to upgrade that segment of 8,400. That costs five grand. Not a lot we can do about that. And then we shall come down here like this. So that will give us a single piece of track. But if we want to have trains running up and down this, this is quite a long piece of track for having trains running up and down it. This is definitely a bottleneck here. Uh, so we kind of want to have some kind of passing area at the very least. Uh, there are ways we could, you know, we could basically put one up here for now. Uh, if we're not going to go into Springburn, we could possibly use this area, but again, that will be used at some point. We could branch off here and go in that way. So that seems like a, a reasonably sensible thing to have. 
for now. We can always repurpose it later. Don't forget in this game, you can delete track and put it down for like zero penalty. Um, and then that just leaves this segment here, which is quite long, but you know, we may have to, to just live with that for now. We've got 50K in the bank and we still need to put some signals down. Uh, some auto signals would be useful uh, in and out of here. Certainly one going into that segment there and probably one going into that segment there just so that we can actually that's not going to work let's get rid of that we want to have uh probably one this isn't really long enough for our purposes um we have to just rethink this what we actually want is a longer run if possible let's get rid of that um I'm trying to create as long a run as possible so that we can maximize our because you can't put a signal down on a on anything that's curved you want a long piece of track so that you can get the the signal on it but this the layout of this is a bit of a pain um, so we may have to get creative here slightly what if we go like that so we go a little bit longer and then come in maybe like that and that will allow us to put a signal there and signal there which then allows us to come in and wait here and come in and wait here which is a, a better solution really and then we'll probably have one in like that so you can see the money that took just to make that work um, this can be left on pretty much but that should allow us to do what we need to do um, let me just make sure we're not holding anybody up. We can get some sensors going shortly, so one of the next things we will do is get some sensors. But for now, let's get a train. So maybe this Asheville Queen Street steps. What about that one? Actually, no, that's a bit too adventurous for now. We will do that possibly in the next video. For now, we'll go steps to Queen Street to steps. That one pays five grand. That's quite a nice contract. Steps Queen Street step that one pays eight grand. Has a higher average speed, but I think we can more or less do it. What we can do is we can have one train outbound and then set off the next one and try and time it so that they, they meet each other on the way. So um if we let this one go like this. Oh, we need to have a auto signal there for this to work properly. Um it's not letting us do that. Okay. I'm not quite sure why it wouldn't let us click that. It might be because that's not automatic. I'm not sure. So when this train sets off and gets past this tunnel here, we could think about letting the next one out. The next contract. Let me just get these trains pointed the right way. Our days of spinning plates will soon be over because we will be unlocking sensors shortly and that will greatly simplify our life, trust me. At the moment, we're just about reaching the peak of manual kind of labor. <laughs> Think of it that way. Also, I need to keep my eye on these trains here, 2110. Okay, they've got to go first, that's fine. Easter House, any platform. So this contract, um, this next contract that comes out of Steps, not that one to Cumbernaut, this one, Steps to Queen Street to Steps, this is going to stop here for a minute. So when this arrives, bearing in mind there's a tunnel here, it takes a while to get through. I think we can let this one out very, very soon. to go 2151 who wants to pass dear god 2151 that's an hour away that's even later than this guy god. there's a lot of um beeping going on <laughs> why is 
did he not come out of here? Okay, there's something not right. This should have come out by now. Does it need like another signal? Oh, I've just not created the track, have I? I've just realized what I've done. There's not actually a link though. I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I've been looking at this thinking, why why is that not working? And now I just realized why. Oh boy. That's really messed the contract up, unfortunately, because um, he will be massively delayed and we're going to have to reject that contract now. Let's get the other one done. That was completely my mistake. Uh, let's get the other one done. So we'll accept this into platform one and get him going. That's really unfortunate, that is, because that was a good contract. Um, but that's human error for you. I wanted to get him in the platform waiting roughly when he was sat there waiting. That was my uh, my plan. That ding noise means you've reached top of the hour. It lets you know every hour, basically. So what I wanted to do was clear him to this passing loop area. Then clear him to that passing loop area. But I think the whole thing... I've just messed it up completely. The timing of this is going to be way off. This is what's um, happening now because I'm spinning plates and not thinking straight. Okay, so we'll see what they do. But I don't think it's going to be very favourable. Yeah, you can see how it's getting a little bit out of control now. So we're clearing for the way back, so we can go when he's ready. Uh, this guy will tell, us, will give us a report on the trial now. I don't think this is going to be good. Forty-one percent. So that's that's a poor performance. It could have been a lot, lot better than that. The question is, do we want to take it? Uh, or do we want to wait for another contract? Um, it's a tough one. It's 3,300. Our average speed is right down. But the trouble is we're committed to five trains and we can't cancel the contract. So I think given how bad that performance is, I'm tempted to just decline that. Write that one off to, um, to human error and see if we can get something better out of this next one. Just turn him around. Let's have a look at our contracts. Hopefully we'll get another one come up. Ashfield, Queen Street to Steps. We can do that, but it's, um, you know what, we may have to go down that road, to be honest. Steps to Queen Street to Steps. That's another one that we could do. We've just got to time when we bring it in because this guy's going to be leaving the platform soon. has got a bit busy over here because I let some of the trains backlog. Okay, so as soon as he's unloaded... Okay, 71%. So that's much, much better. If we'd have got 71% on the other contract, we'd have been looking at six grand, so... It shows you what we could do. So our average speed was 45. That's not as quick as we can do, but it's it's good enough for now. So we'll accept that one. We'll let him get out the way. And we'll bring this guy in here into platform one. We'll turn him around. It's really annoying having that piece of track there now. Really annoying. Uh, also, I've just noticed that he should have gone now. So we do need to get him out of here. He wants to go to Easter House. So we'll have to manually switch him through. So if I queue up an Easter House run. And then 
we reverse this guy now. We can get him out of there. And that frees him up. And then we can push him on to that siding. Because he only wants to go on to 2151. So we'll park him there instead. So yeah. It does look a little bit manic right now. Um, as we try and get all this figured out. But our life will get a lot easier shortly. I'm going to have to leave it there, guys. This video has been way too long as it stands. Thank you for being here and still watching. That is the last, I think, of our manicness. We will, in the next video, be upgrading some of these things uh, in the automation category. So we can either get the arrival or the departure sensor, or we can some convert some points. Uh, we just got to watch out the money. I need to build up some more money so that we can afford all these things. That will allow us to start programming some of our networks. So rather than me having to manually flick all these signals, we can start to program it. And I will show you how to do that in the next episode. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Um, Apologise for the little cock up I made over there on the contract. But it just shows you what happens when it gets so, so busy. Uh, is you will make mistakes. And sometimes you have to just decline a contract and, and just scratch it down to... Uh, human error, the human factor. Uh, take care, guys. Happy training.